itself at the side. We call it the master of class reject. I am your brother, the Rastafari, I tall Ayman I for the Underground News Network. Bear with me here. We have a little technical difficulties. The Rastafari, the science of sound vibration. Until now, Rastafari movement has been defined by the music producers, record labels, and sundry scholars, far removed from the movement themselves. The University of West Indies is one such machine who has defined the movement, isolating it as in a test tube and keeping it safely locked away in the confines of the world view context. Each year there is a report on Rastafari. 2010 will mark 50 years since the report on the Rastafari movement in Kingston, Jamaica. It was first published by the then University College of the West Indies. This report authored by M.G. Smith, Roy Augers, and Rex Nettleford, validated the university's sense of its social responsibility and remains one of its most successful monographs, having gone through eight reproductions without change in form or content on its way to becoming the most highly referenced document on the new movement. 2010 also marks the 80th anniversary of the Rastafari movement itself, which has grown from a few visionary visionaries struck by the coronation of the Ethiopian emperor. This comes from their website. Haile Selassie I, in November 1930, into a vital force in reconstructing and elevating the African presence in the Western landscape. So what we're getting at here is is that the Rastafari movement has always been defined by people other than the Rastafari themselves. You see Rastafari is a very young movement. The year 2012, a very pivotal point in our reality, the Rastafari movement will be only 82 years of age. Therefore, Rastafari is a progression. It's something that started at one point and is still moving. So, all the cards are not on the table. So, the movement has not been defined as academia would deem it to be. For instance, many of us know that Rastafari should be a republic, a sovereign nation. If you will look in Wikipedia, research the Republic of Rastafari, you will see Republic of Rastafari OAN. Now there is no further information on that 
the powers that be of Wikipedia came to my website unm13.com and stole the words Republic of Rastafari OAN in the year 2001 I started in cyberspace the Rastafari Jihad under the Republic of Rastafari OAN so this has leaked into Wikipedia because some of the hierarchy of Wikipedia the board members knew that Rastafari was still developing and that someone knew also that Rastafari should be a republic. We have a brother uh, Aster, call himself Ross Aster Black, a politician, dread politician. He tried to run for office in Jamaica under the Rastafari ticket. I asked the brother and everybody concerned to meditate on the Rastafari Republic. So I'm not too much into politics. I, Rastafari is a spiritual thing, but it is known that the Rastafari should be a republic. So Rastafari, the power of Rastafari is sound vibration. So with the power of sound vibration, as the Naya Bengi suggest, as the Queen Naya Bengi ruled the Congo with a drum, and like Haiti was won its independence through what's called voodoo, their religion. Rastafari has that same power, but as Rastafari being a progression, and the ones that are caught into the fundamentalism of Rastafari cannot see they don't have a bird's eye view so what we call the master blaster jamming is the epitome of the Rastafari movement it's the essence of sound vibration the concert which is the actual acting out of the Masonic right of the when, when, when we say Masonic, we mean Maya sound vibration. It means that the royal arch degree dictates that when the name of the true name of God is pronounced, heaven and earth will shake. So there is a formula in the Rastafari called the Master of Blaster Jamming, where when we make the sound, the mothership knows that we are ready to be taken and redeemed from the already now climatic earth changes. This is the message in the crop circles that ones who know, know that the Anunnaki is sending down to earth. So this is the essence of the Rastafari movement, i.e. the epitome of the Rastafari movement. So. What we see in Jamaica and what we see worldwide of the Rastafari is not Rastafari. So it's not the completion of Rastafari. The world is thinking that all the consensus in Jamaica and, and, the, and, and, and academia through the college there, University in the West Indies, they're actually meeting right about now, bringing this consensus that was started by, by Rex Nelliford and uh, Nettleford and M.G. Smith that the consensus is in but that's not Rastafari you have to be some academic scholar to present your papers they have this thing called a call for papers but that's not Rastafari Rastafari is still growing in other words God is a baby so to speak so the revolution is now in cyberspace First, a lot of people get spooked out about masonry. As I said, it's Maya sound vibration. The pyramids were built by master masons. And notice in Egypt, there's a consensus. There's no different concepts about life. There's one message to us. And the essence of that message to us coming from the pyramids, as the Bible says, when two or more gather in in the name of truth, the power will be there. 
that's the essence it says when the children of Israel Israel meaning light when they cried out in unison the gods God i.e. remember the covenant so that's the message to us currently is cry out in unison and let the gods know that's the fail safe mechanism even in the mathematical code on the walls of the great pyramids it says that when it's time like this we cry out make the sound it's in the Rastafari the Naya Bengi word sound power we're going to close it right here we're going to come back with part two you're now in tune on the one the force itself at this time we call it the master blaster jamming